Hey guys, right now I will show you how I made this 2D drawing of a character move in Blender. Preparing your assets is important. If you already have your 2D assets separated for each part, then you can start rigging right away. But if you're gonna start from a 2D drawing that was not meant to be animated, I would suggest separating them by parts using Photoshop or cut them directly in Blender using knife tool or any other kinds of add-on that you have. But I recommend using this add-on called Tessellate Texture Plane that turns your PNG file into a proper mesh that eliminates all the transparency in the original image. This will help a lot when you are trying to rig something, like a clothing. Something to keep in mind is that when you have body parts that overlap with other parts, it is better to separate the mesh and move them slightly to the back or to the front. If you have parts that overlap, you need to stretch the mesh so it acts like a full body parts instead of a crop parts. This will avoid any weird cropping or holes when you animate them later. Once you are done, you can start creating a vertex group for each part that you want to animate and name them accordingly. To create a rig, you simply press Shift A, Armature, go to Edit Mode, and start extruding and adding bones to each part you want to animate. And it doesn't have to be clean and proper, because sometimes you only need a few parts to animate. Once you're done, you need to set a name for each bone to have the same name as the one you made in the vertex group. Now go back to Object Mode, select the image, Art Armature Modifier, and pick our armature. Now go back to the armature in pose mode and you can finally start moving your character. Right now, you are pretty much free to go and animate them right away. But we can do a simple IK to make animating far more easier. I would suggest to follow Ian's IK rigging tutorial here to understand more about them. But for example like this right arm, add a new bone and place them near the head. Go to pose mode and select the new bone and the arm then Press Shift I and add IK to the active bone, and then you can finally start moving your arm very easily. I'm not gonna dive too deep for the animation, but what I usually do first is to select all bones in pose mode and insert a keyframe for a whole character at the start of the frame. And then I turn on auto keying to record every action or move that I did on the character and from there I can start animating right away. One neat little trick for animating a cloth being blown by a strong wind is to animate them in real time by playing the animation first, then quickly grab the bone and move them with your mouse. But of course you have to create another bone and vertex groups just for the clothing without separating them as different mesh because you simply are going to stretch them when you animate them. I think that's pretty much it. It's not a proper detail tutorial, but I hope this breakdown explains how I made this animation. The Blender files for this project is available in my Patreon if you are in a Master Kitchen tier. And of course, I want to thank everyone again in my Patreon for supporting me and also Frank Gerson for requesting this tutorial. Sorry for the long wait man, but I hope this helps. And of course, if you guys who watch this are interested in supporting as well and want to get more extra stuff from me, you can start joining my Patreon. I will try my best to upload content every month. I'll see you guys there, if you did. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. See ya.